good afternoon. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexandra Stojak and I'm high school student. After graduation, I like I would like to uh, become a doctor and uh, help people with uh, their uh, illnesses and disabilities. My um, science uh, experience started in primary school when my nature's uh, teacher uh, encouraged me to take part in a competition. Uh, it was quite hard, but I put a lot of effort into preparation and I was successful. And that gives me uh, a lot of motivation uh, and another milestone in my career um, is my interest in the field of neurobiology. Uh, I admit that in a way it was related to my family situation because my grandma, grandmother uh, suffered from uh, Alzheimer's disease. And when we um, found, found out that she's sick and I started doing research, I realized that there is a lot of uh, things that is that are uh, worse than uh, death uh, and this is the situation where when people lose their um, memories and um, uh, feelings that's all that make us uh, human uh, so this um, field of neurobiology uh, absorbed me absolutely and I started spend a long hours during quarantine uh, in company of textbooks uh, but it wasn't a fruitless work because I uh, was success in international uh, competition and it also um, shows me that showed me that I can do something and achieve something um, but another boots of motivation were in internships I took part in because I was um, I was working uh, in pharmacy and in laboratory and I uh, was able to find out how uh, this work looks like. Um, however, a huge part of my life is the title of a lifeguard I gained this year. I am uh, an active member of a Malta uh, Medical Service Association. I'm volunteer volunteering there um, and um, uh, make a professional medical care from people in big uh, in a big events. I'm also a, a leader of the school Red Cross um, uh, organization. We organize a blood donation and uh, events like this. I'm also working in a school council. Uh, apart from the science activities, I also want to tell you something about my artistic part of a soul because um, I have been playing piano since I was 10. I also love poetry and art and I personally believe that each painting has its own voice that should be heard. Uh, in my speech I all, uh, also want to tell you something about my role models because when I was choosing the right person for my essay it wasn't easy. Uh, I chose Rita Levy Montazzini but uh, she is not my only um, idol it all because I'm also uh, really admire Princess Diana. She's not uh, related to, in the field of um, science but she was a big uh, huge um, person with big heart uh, and she put a lot of effort to um, make the uh, people with AIDS, uh, patient with AIDS situation better. And uh, at the end of my speech, I want to tell uh, you why I am applying for a scholarship and uh, what are my life goals. Um, as I have said many times and probably every candidate uh, did, um, this uh, scholarship give a lot of opportunities for our future, uh, future career and um, but it's also uh, about life because life is mu much more than uh, achieving goals and uh, be success in field of science. It's also about living, experiencing and uh, using every uh, possible opportunity. And I love travels and I think that uh, this scholarship give me um, the 
opportunity to uh, connect uh, the path the travel where I uh, when I can uh, know new cultures and uh, people and the opportunity to um, raise my uh, skills in field of neurobiology by uh, meeting um, people who working in science technology uh, industry in this as prestigious place as uh, Silicon uh, Valley is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Marta. Thank you. Thank you, Ola. That was very nice speech. Uh, uh, you said you want to be a doctor, right? Yeah. So how can you imagine the future of this, you know, being a doctor in, for example, how it look like in next 20 years? Like if you imagine that doctor in next 20 years, what will change? Um, the main the things I would change in the medical profession would be um, people uh, feelings about these uh, jobs. I think uh, people don't appreciate uh, doctors as much as uh, they should, uh, but I think um, it's it can change like it's the thing that uh, can change in uh, 20 years but when i'm uh, thinking about the profession i think the um, abilities to change and improve skills uh, can be uh, higher in the next 20 years because we live in a world that are uh, that every person can um, work together like you know from different continents and it's it's, um, I think it's a big opportunity to uh, make a doctor's uh, community um, more open to and the doctor can doctors can uh, work together even if they work like I said in the different continents uh, and they can um, like do everything they uh, can do to help people with a serious illness. Like uh, we have opportunity to uh, make research for, uh, to help people with, uh, like I said, serious neurological disorders like Alzheimer or Parkinson and the research uh, are, the work about the research are happen happening right now. So I think like everything uh, is possible if only people want to change something. Thanks. Uh, what is your motivation for scholarship? Like what is your key motivator and key driver for preparing essay presentation from presenting in front of us? If you could just describe this key motivation factor for us okay key motivation factor i think it's not only the one thing but i'm very um i very ambitious i'm very ambitious and i like to uh, do uh, a lot of things but uh, like i said i love travel and i think travel to um, another continent is one of the main uh, reason why i uh, trying to i well why i am applying for this scholarship uh, but also it's about the um, academic skills also but i think the experience from visiting uh, another country and uh, so prestigious part of uh, science world world i think it's it's the main thing that motive keeps me motivated Okay, thank you very much. That's all from my side. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Hello, <clears throat> hello, Alexandra. Um, you wrote uh, in your essay uh, about the one motto, "Tuitio uh, fidei ed obsequium pauperum." Do you know what that mean and what's the uh, how it is connect uh, connected with your motivation and, and your goals? 
Yes, uh, that is connected with uh, help for people who need this uh, help. And this is motto of this uh, association, uh, Malta, I am working in. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, more about volunteering. Um, and I think this motto shows um, what is about uh, in a doctor profession. Like maybe sometimes uh, when I'm working as a lifeguard, I have uh, war, I have bad moments when I am um, totally exhausted. Uh, but then I realized that um, it shouldn't affect on people. Uh, uh, Oh, who I'm helping. Like they don't know that uh, I have a worst, uh, I have a bad day and they don't know that I'm exhausted and they shouldn't uh, um, experience this, my feeling on themselves. So I think it's my motivation to uh, stay a good person, even if something's, um, something isn't, um, uh, go as I think it will, uh, will go um, and I think it's uh, the main um, the main connection between my motivation and this um, motto okay so uh, tell us uh, what's uh, what's your biggest career goal uh, that you will uh, aspire to my biggest career goal um, I, f I would like to become a doctor, a successful doctor, and help as many people as I can. Um, but it's also, um, but my main uh, goal, maybe not uh, in the career, but in education, is to um, apply and start studying in uh, some prestigious uh, university. Um, my main uh, goal is to um, study in Harvard University, and I it's my goal uh, since I was in the sev uh, seventh grade in primary school. And when I realized I want to go to a foreign uh, country to start to continue my education, I started to learn English in the language school uh, as I wrote in my uh, cover letter. And I think I do everything I can. Uh, I'm doing everything I can to achieve this goal. Uh, but in the future, like I said, I want to be a doctor and continue my um, science um, work, like probably in the field of neurobiology, because it's the um, field that is still growing. Uh, we uh, still um, don't know everything about brain. Like I, I think we uh, know rit little um, thing about the brain and the whole nervous system. Uh, so I think that's all I want to achieve. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Alexandra, can you imagine uh, that in the future uh, robots uh, replace doctors? Mm, I don't think so. Like, doctor is not only uh, hands, like, um, it's also about heart and heart put into their work. Like, uh, sometimes uh, people need only a good word from doctors and not uh, the real treatment like i think uh, it's more about feelings and uh, humans reactions than uh, just the work that can be done by doctors uh, by robots i'm sorry <laughs> okay um, uh, actually two-thirds of patients who appear uh, in the emergency department uh, perhaps uh, don't need any treatment uh, yeah. so, so they need uh, exclusively a, a good work. But imagine that you cannot uh, become a doctor. What do you do? What profession do you choose? Mm, probably, like I said, I like also poetry. So maybe I will start work. Uh, I start education in field of uh, liter literature, and uh, maybe sort of anthropology, because I'm also interested in uh, history, uh, some kind. Um, and I uh, will do everything I can to uh, work for my uh, society. Uh, but maybe in uh, studying area it would be something about uh, languages or uh, literature like I said maybe some uh, art studies something like this okay 
Thank you very much once again. Uh, Marta, may I ask you for a feedback? Sure. Uh, I found very convenient the way you speak. Like you have that something in your voice that makes uh, your um, your audience feel secure. So it's very gentle, it's very nice, and the, the way you speak is also very clear. So uh, I really enjoy it, Alexandra. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Yes, yes, I think it's it's true, and uh, I, I feel the same. Uh, but uh, and uh, I think uh, your achievements and efforts uh, for uh, other people are uh, very important, and uh, I like it. Uh, so it's the it's uh, your way is right. So uh, do not uh, uh, do, uh, do it uh, again. <laughs> Uh, do it uh... hello hello adam can you hear adam no no probably there is some connection issue um, but but anyway um, alexandra he 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 said uh, what we all uh, think uh, you did great, thank you very much. Uh, we'll wait for the results uh, tomorrow, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Jimmy. you, Ola. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.